631. I hate being late, so without further ado, we will call the meeting to order with the Pledge to Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. the agenda, well, second on the agenda is the financial report, but unless there's any objection, I know Glenn and Diana Smith are here, I'd like to do donations first in an effort to save them time and effort so they don't have to stay there too long. Is there any objections to that? Mr. Wagner, is there anything wrong with doing it that way? Not unless anybody on the board objects. Very well. Any objections? Okay, we'll go to donations then. Um, Todd, I'm going to, I got this when I got in here. Glenn and Diana Smith of Glendai Trucking have made a donation for $1,075 for cameras on the bus. Actually. And I was gonna go, there's also when they bought a copier, there was another thousand from Rimco. Adams it? Rimco. Adams Rimco last month. So yes. is, what is the total donation then? Well, whatever, I, I haven't seen that check. So okay. whatever the, that was $1,000 from Adams Rimco. So how much? $2,075. $2,075 on behalf of Glendie Trucking. Now I know Pee Wee, you and Diana don't want a lot of lauding out of this, but I want to say thank you. I worked the bus crash up in uh, Argus and uh, we always on the board are very appreciative and thankful for all the donations we get. Um, and this is something that hopefully will help keep our students safe during things and that. So on behalf of the Rochester Community School Corporation Board of Trustees, thank you very much. And, and I would like to personally thank you, uh, Glenn, that, as I know in Pee Wee, what, was one of the first to reach out to me after I'd spent the day at Valley at, at that accident on October 30th. And they've made a commitment to uh, support Rochester's transportation department and try to help put cameras on each and every one of our buses. And this is a great effort. Uh, a great step towards that effort and Skeeter correct me if I'm wrong but last week alone we had four stop bus stop arms ran last week alone and so um, we just want to remind drivers that uh, safety is of an utmost concern and thank you both so much for your endeavors and, and bringing this to everybody's attention and supporting us as we move forward with that to, to ensure the safety of our students. And yep. to clarify, those are cameras, for, like stop arm cameras? Stop arm cameras. And, and I think that we all realize it's not going to stop the accidents from happening. That, there, there are multiple pieces to that puzzle that it takes for everybody. But I think one of the greatest frustrations is we continue to have those stop arms being run. And uh, this will help us capture those and work with those specific people and, and be able to do what we need to do to ensure the safety. I can yes. just say one quick thing. I, we've got cameras in our trucks too, so we know kind of how this is, and it's a good thing. And I'm hoping by us doing this, maybe we can get some other people in the community to step up too. So I guess I'm kind of challenging the community to step up and do something for this, because I really believe in it. I think it's, I think it's a good thing. Well, we can't tell you enough. Thank you again, yeah. sincerely. Not only for this, but for the personal phone calls and messages as we went through that. So thank you. You see all that stuff every day when you drive a yeah. truck too, and it uh, never goes away, does it? No. There are other donations as well from Laura Ricketts, four large 180 lozenge packets of sugar-free halls, cough, and throat drops, approximate value of $40 to Ohio Middle School, the Optimist Club, $250 to RMS Man RHS Manitals. First Baptist Church Fellowship Guild 4738 for backpack program food. The Builders Association of Kosciuszko and Fulton County's Women Council, a $100 donation of clothes. From Notre Dame, four Notre Dame men's basketball tickets for PBIS award celebration. An anonymous donation of $100 for Columbia student slash parent needs. Seven, or I'm sorry, from the Blacktop Cruisers, $200 for the RHS Manitals. Grace United Methodist Church, $700 for Columbia individual student needs. Grace United Methodist Church, $700 for RMS student needs. 
anonymous, nice clothing for upcoming RMS student needs. Anonymously, $20 to cover two RMS student field trips. Grace United Methodist Church, $700 for high school individual student needs. Charlie Schwank, $25 for RMS National NJHS, uh, or National Junior Honor Society. Uh, also added today, we got a letter here from John Cleveland. Is that correct? He donated $500 to RHS Athletics. And um, I have it here somewhere, of course, in my usual organizer. There it is. He wrote a letter on behalf. He made a $500 donation and uh, graduated from Rochester High School in 1969, participated in sports during his four years of high school that set the tone for much of the rest of his life. He wanted to help commemorate the soon to be 50th year since his graduation. He enclosed a check for that amount to the athletic department. Um, he said, obviously, sports were much different in the late, and I'm paraphrasing here, sports were much different in the late 60s as opposed to today, but the goals are still much the same. And I, I agree with him wholeheartedly. He was fortunate to a letter 11 times in four sports, baseball was summer, track, cross country, basketball, and baseball. Uh, he talks about Hugh Ressler, Skip Collins, and the true value of teamwork and pure enjoyment of competition. The lessons of sacrifice, physical and mental toughness, and it saved his life during the third, 73 to 75 years he had a two-year battle with cancer. Uh, he said the toughness to, takes to fend off opponents during the last half mile in a cross-country race is similar to pain associated with a long-term battle with cancer. Wind sprints and basketball didn't hurt in that fight either. And $500, he says, is not nearly enough to repay the school and all it did for him, but he hopes it can be put to use wherever it is meeting those, needed most. So on behalf of Mr. Cleland and Glenn and Diana Smith, Sorry, I keep calling you Pee Wee, but I don't. Everybody knows you like that. That's all everybody knows of you. Yeah, and all the people who make donations, it, it seems repetitive, and I keep saying the same thing, but I can't say it enough. On behalf of the board and board members, you're welcome to chip in. Thank you so very much for your donations. If you were to look at that list, and I didn't do any quick math in my head, but there's certainly a lot of value given to our school corporation to help all our kids. So thank you very, very much. And I move donations to the front, Glenn and Diane, because you are certainly welcome to stay for the rest of the meeting. However, you'll, after we take a vote, you're welcome to leave too because. Yeah, What's that? She's got to take her to some. You got to take her out for an uh, expensive date, huh? Uh, so, in that, and is there a motion to accept the donations as presented? So, no move. Okay. Uh, last meeting, so make it easy on me, okay? Um, who had it? We'll go with Sandy. Motion made by second, or by Sandy. Is there a second? I'll second. Second by Stacy. All in favor of approval, and I didn't miss any donations today. Oh, I almost forgot. There was one more. Fulton County Soil and Water, $100 for FFA. I certainly don't want to forget anybody who made those donations, so I apologize. Does your motion still stand, yeah. Cindy? And your second? Yes. All in favor of approving the donations as given, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 7 0. Thank you very much. And like I said, you are certainly welcome to stay. But it sounds like Glenn needs to take you to dinner. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll go back in the order then of the financial report. The approval of claims 14,619 to 14,777,000, totaling $1,079,391. Is that is the, the one question we had? Uh, there is there was an adjustment to claim or voucher 14676 um, when it was presented it was paid it was a mileage claim it was paid off of the current year mileage um, but there was mileage from 2017 on there so it was corrected it was reduced by in the amount of three hundred forty eight dollars and forty four cents difference in difference in the expenses from 17 to 18. any other adjustments needed <coughs> Questions or concerns for Todd? I will let you look, Jenny. Any questions or concerns? In that case, is there a motion for the approval of claims 14619 to 14777? So moved. Motion made by Steve. Is there second. A second by Tom. <clears throat> All in favor of approving of claims, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 7 to 0. Um, Let's see, payrolls. I should have done all these together. Any questions or comments for Todd on the payrolls? Is there a motion to approve the payrolls as given? So moved. Motion made by Rick. Second. Second by Jenny. All in favor of approving the payrolls as given, please signify by raising your right hand. 
Motion carries <coughs> to zero. Funds report. Okay. My head in the way. Am I in the way? Negative. All right. As of the end of November, in the general fund, uh, November receipts were nine hundred eighty-five thousand nine hundred forty-nine dollars and fifty-nine cents. Um, expenses in November were one million fifty-seven thousand five hundred seventy-one dollars and thirty-six cents, which left us cash balance of $231,086.72. Debt service fund receipts of $8,049.90. Expenses out of the debt service in November were $96,482.18, which leaves us the balance of $2,196,762.21. Capital projects fund Receipts of $22,477.02. Uh, monthly expenses in November of $94,440.41. Uh, leaves us with a balance as of the end of November of $769,118.23. Transportation receipts of $5,588.27. Expenses of $89,600.39. These transportation with the balance of $848,204.98. And bus replacement fund, we had receipts of $664.54. Uh, there were no expenses in November. <coughs> Our cash balance is $64,805.17. Excuse me. Is there any questions of Todd about the funds report? In that case, is there a motion to approve the funds report? So moved. Motion made by Tom. Is there a second? Second. Second by Steve. All in favor of approving the funds report as given, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries seven to zero. The semi-annual lease payment to Huntington Bank. I'll let you explain that, Todd. So. Um, the Lease payments to the Huntington Bank and the Wells Fargo are regards to the uh, construction work that, that's done. This is it happens twice a year, um, so this isn't anything that's new. But I thought we would, for the for benefit of everyone, it would, would help to pull it out separately. So that's what this signifies. It's nothing that, that that hasn't been done before, but it's because of the construction, the bonds, that's why it's done. So we didn't sell a school, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we didn't sell a school. I believe that's what it pertains to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we need to um, a motion to approve the semi annual lease payment to Huntington Bank. Okay. Motion made by Stacy. Second. Second by Rick. All in favor of approving the semi annual lease payment to Huntington Bank, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 7 0. Uh, I guess I could have put bonds to Wells Fargo on there as well, but I'm slipping on my last meeting. <laughs> you just want us to have lots of votes. What's that? You just want us to have lots of votes on your last Yeah, meeting. no, no. I, I'm, effic <laughs> I'm efficiency in motion. <laughs> bond payments to Wells Fargo Bank. Is there a motion to approve those bond payments for 2008, 2010, and 2014? So moved. Motion made by Jenny. Second. Second by Sandy. All in favor of approving those bond payments? To Wells Fargo Bank in 2008, 2010, and 2014. Please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 7 to 0. The resolution to transfer amounts from the education fund, the operations fund, on a recurring basis. Haven't we done this like 27 times? Well, there are different components. This is the last one. We knock on wood and we'll be in compliance with what the auditors are expecting and, and should be good to go. So this is just a motion to get these funds ready for the first of the year so that we go from the five to the three, mm -hmm. correct? And is there a resolution on that to read? It probably is, mm -hmm. there it is. Because I do need to write, read, work, read that, correct, Stan? Resolution to transfer amounts from the education fund, the operations fund on a recurring basis. Uh, be it resolved, I have to read the whole thing, or be it yeah. resolved. Be it resolved that the Rochester Community Board of School Trustees authorize the treasurer of the Rochester Community School Corporation to transfer the amount of $1,665,788 from the Education Fund to the Operation Fund to reimburse the Operations Fund for expenses that are not allocated to student instruction 
and learning under Indiana Code 20-42.5 for the period of 2019. This motion, this resolution was duly made, second adopted the 17th day of December 2018. It will be effective January 1st. Is there a motion to approve that resolution, resolution to transfer amounts from the education fund to the operations fund on a recurring basis? Second. Motion made by Sandy. A second. Second by Stacy. All in favor of approving that resolution, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries seven to zero. And then on Wednesday for professional development time, I'll be meeting with all of the teachers across the district to try to help them better understand all of the resolutions we've gone through <laughs> as best I can in a 40 minute time frame. try to summarize what's been going on um, since about 2017 near the end of that so that everybody has a better understanding. They've done a phenomenal job when we did Finance 101 and 102, really helping us uh, stabilize the general fund and understanding what that means. So I think that this will be a good effort to help them uh, understand what those funds are doing, what that means to them, so that we can continue to work collaboratively <coughs> on that. So you're welcome to come Wednesday morning, and I'll do the best to summarize months of effort here for them. On to C, consent items. Uh, if there's no objection by the board, of course, we'll ask if there's any questions or corrections or deletions of Jenny. But if there's no objection to the board, uh, do you mind if we combine those into one vote? Any objections? For the minutes of the November 19th, 2018 regular board meeting, are there any additions, deletions, or corrections? For the minutes of the December 3rd, 2018 study session, are there any additions, deletions, or corrections? In that case, is there a motion to approve C consent items from the minutes of the 2000, I'm sorry, the November 19th, 2018 regular meeting and the December 3rd, 2018 study session? Motion to approve consent items. Motion made by Tom. Second that. Second by Steve. All in favor of approving the consent items, subject one and subject two, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 7-0. Let's see, so we are on to student and stakeholder focus, which we've done donations. And there was an overnight field trip that was asking for permission, but you'd like that table, correct? Sure, um, so Mr. Haas is out ill today. He's been struggling with the flu. This overnight field trip is something new that we're trying for in Richmond, and uh, he was really looking forward to the opportunity of sharing with the board. That was one of the challenges that was given to myself and to the principals and teachers across the district was to grow our enrichment and remediation opportunities. And so I think it's important that he's here to share what, what that enrichment opportunity is and what that means to students at the middle school. So it won't hurt us, it's a, it's a March trip and if we tackle that in January, we should be okay. But I wanna honor his request to, to share and, and his excitement in that. Do we need a motion to table that or can we just table, okay. <coughs> Unless there's no objection, we'll table that overnight uh, field trip. On to the personnel report. Hiring Tara Smoker for sixth grade language arts teacher, Mary Connor for Columbia special needs instructional assistant, Brenda Gertie, a middle school special needs instructional assistant, and Stacy Ingram, bus driver. For the FMLA or Family Medical Leave Act, Brian Hooker, high school PE from October 11th, 18 for an indefinite period of time. Joni McBay, Riddle Instructional Assistant Special Needs from December 5th, 2018 to December 19th, 2018. Misty Furrow, high school, the High School Attendance Secretary, October 9th, 2018 to November 12th, 2018. And Amy Freeman, Columbia STEM, November 30th, 2018 to December 13th, 2018 continuous and December 14th through February 22nd, 2019 intermittent. Resignation, Ricky Fouts, bus driver, effective 12-19 of 2018. Winter intercession, Madison Sweeney, high school English, and Deb Wolford for high school math. And athletic coaching resignation, Brian Hooker for varsity football coach, effective December 11th, 2018. Do I look at you and ask for additions or deletions, or do I look at candy? Candy's donations. Right? Candy's donations. Okay. I think that this is all encompassing at this point, to my knowledge. Any questions of Mrs. Vance on the personnel report? Is there a motion to approve the personnel report? So a motion made by Steve. Second. Second by Rick. All in favor of approving the personnel report as given, please signify by raising your right hand. 
Motion carries seven to zero. Information and analysis. <laughs> Approval to recycle surplus cassette tape recorders. <laughs> Man, <laughs> do we need those. <laughs> Technology has come a long way. I want to first begin by thanking Scott and his crew. Uh, last month we talked about selling um, some projectors that still had some life in them, as well as some monitors. And uh, we just concluded that sale and raised about $2,000, which is much more than we would have gotten had we just recycled those. But it does take some additional effort on his part and, and his staff's part. So I want to thank him for his hard work on that. And in that, as we continue to try to clear out storage rooms, making room to start ordering in bulk, he found a couple more treasures that we would like to try our See, look at. There are treasures. Type. There are treasures hidden. So Scott, if you'll share just a little bit about that for maybe the approval to try to sell those online and see what happens. Yeah, these are um, old cassette players, uh, recorders that we found at the Riddle Library that had been sitting on the shelf for uh, probably about the last 10 years or so, that collecting dust. So. Uh, they wanted to get rid of them, make room for, for more books or something. So um, there was about six or seven uh, cassette recorders. Any questions of Mr. Kissler about the cassette recorders? Tom, you probably got a John Denver tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was say I could do some Beastie Boys myself. In that case, is there a motion to approve? the uh, recycling of the surplus cassette tape recorders. So moved. I was trying to get him to sell my cassettes along with them. I was just telling him, I think Tom and I both have some cassettes from our day. Worse than that, I still got eight tracks. I, well, you got me there. Hang on, we'll come back around. No, we so the motion was made by Sandy. Is there a second? Second. Second by Jenny. All in favor of approving the recycling of the sur surplus cassette tape recorders? Please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 7-0. Superintendent's business. I just want to take a moment to thank uh, Steve and Brad for their years of service as a board. Typically before the, the last meeting of their uh, tenure, we have um, uh, gathering and have appetizers, those types of things, but both gentlemen elected rather than to have our funds spent on that, that they would like those donated to various areas within our district. So I don't want it to go without being said that that, that was offered and they chose to make that decision and I think that just shares their dedication to the corporation and want to thank you for your time and your support and want to give the board an opportunity to say what they would like to say and then at the same time welcome Joe and Kyle on board and uh, looking forward to that in January as well. So I don't know if you have ge if you gentlemen have some closing words or if the board would like to share, but I know we didn't do anything beforehand, but I don't want it to go unnoticed and unrecognized. After you. <clears throat> well, yeah, Mrs. Vance, it's good that you always have to worry a little bit when you give me the open mic. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, I can reminisce a little bit. That was the makes me think of the time at the middle school we were doing the um, talking to the teachers and I started talking to the teachers about how really improved the middle school was and how fantastic things are over there and I appreciate everything they've done and I said boy I really wish it was like that when my girls were here and then I was like wait Mrs. Vance was the principal when my girls were here and I was like like a dog trying to climb up the stairs and, and they thought it was pretty humorous, and, and later Mrs. Vance probably laughed about that too. But <laughs> what really, Mrs. Vance is in charge of everything, so when things got better over there, she was in charge of, of everything and getting better all at the same time, so that was good. So it, it worked out well, but no, I, I think it's been a, it was a real learning opportunity. I thought I, I thought I knew most of what went on, and, and then when you start, you find out there's a lot you learn about everything that goes on. and, and uh, it was difficult, but I, I'm glad I did it. Uh, there's some uh, interesting things you learn about people, and uh, but I'm glad to contribute and help the school. And I think that we we've, we've definitely made improvements over the last four years. Um, interesting things that um, even that you learn that I just didn't realize. You know, over a couple hundred employees, and I went on for the first I don't know maybe it was the first six months of the year that I was on, but I didn't realize that that Scott Kistler and Scott Kiesling are two different people. Because we get these reports and I'm like, this makes no sense. It just doesn't make sense. And, and everybody else was going along with it. I thought, well, it makes sense to everybody else. It, it, it's probably okay that, 
that the vice principal's doing all this technology stuff. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm, and then you know, it, and then it works the other way too. I was uh, attending a lunch put on by the, um, uh, the life skills class, and then people confused me for other people too. I, um, <clears throat> One of the life skills students thought that I was Rex Reinhold. I was like, no, <laughs> no, and then that, what else? Oh, a life skills student confused me for somebody else. And then um, even at a soccer game, I, I went in with my um, Rochester badge and uh, I heard one of the, the students taking tickets at the, oh, that, he doesn't have to pay, that's Oscar Haas, I'm like, Mr. Haas. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so it wasn't just that I had other people mixed up, people had me mixed up. So it goes on a lot. And in a big corporation, you gotta pay attention to everybody. Um, and uh, no, but it's uh, been great. And uh, I can give the, the new board members a little bit of advice. Um, you know, over the time I've worked with Sandy and uh, a Sandy has brought, at just the right time, more wisdom and more, she knows what's going on and she knows she's times to um, make a big difference and, and, and keep us going in the right direction. And, and sometimes it's in meetings that nobody came to or it's in meetings that are private. And uh, so Sandy and I started this celebratory fist bump and I, she's got rings on every finger. I, 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 I'm like, there's scar tissue. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll let six months to a year go by and then we save the school again. I'm like, oh, I should have held back. But um, no, it's been very, very good and uh, appreciate all the camaraderie. And, and uh, so I'm just thankful for being able to serve for four years. Thank you. I don't know if I should say anything or not. I, um, it's been an honor to serve for four years. It's been interesting. I will say this to the community as a whole. And Ted, I'm going to paraphrase you. Um, and you, you've all heard me say it before. It's, it's been wonderful to help kids. And that's what we got in here for. There was no agenda to do that. And every member of this board wanted to help a child or help the children. Um, there wasn't a, we need to get rid of this coach or fire that teacher. That, that didn't happen. And I encourage the, the public as a whole to come to the meeting. Uh, there were some surprise with the weight rooms and things like that, but come to the meetings because these things are discussed 25 times if they're discussed once. And we are very vigilant about public access and making sure people are allowed to come in and hear whatever we have to say unless it's an executive session. So on that note, it's been an honor and a privilege. Don't believe anything on social media. <laughs> and only half of what you see. But it is, it's interesting. Please come to meetings, run for the office, try to learn what's going on because it's a whole big Gordian knot when it comes to the state of Indiana and education sometimes. But I couldn't be prouder and more honored to serve with each and every one of you and you, Jana, and all the teachers and administrators. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm not saying I will never run again because I was taught to never say never. But it's been a wonderful exercise. I learned a lot about, a lot about myself too. So. Anyway, the quote from Ted was, criticism was what, cheap, easy, and nobody's held accountable? <laughs> so I've used that one. I, try, I, I copyright and trademark that one for you. But come on in and come to the meetings. Come see what we talk about, because we do a lot of our work during the study sessions. You see us blast through things here. We talked about it and sent texts and emails, or emails mostly. And it's really interesting, and I would encourage everyone to run at one time or another just to get the perspective. So on behalf of me and my family, thank you for the opportunity to serve. And they never, they bet me I wouldn't do it. And I don't have a mic, so I said I would. <laughs> we were out. <laughs> <laughs> anything else, Mrs. Vance? No, that's all that I have. Thank you. Board members, did you guys have anything I didn't? Thank you. Thank you both for your service. I know that it has not been easy. It's been a learning curve, of course. But you've always, both of you have kept the main thing the main thing. And we appreciate your service so very much. Thank you. Come and visit. <laughs> I might just do that. Good, yeah. it, it'll be do fun to be on the front <laughs> side of the, the other side. Don't cry. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> <laughs> don't fist bump me either. Another for Steve. <laughs> Anybody else? And no yeah. one trolling for accolades. I'd say both of you. Uh, over the years, one of the, the great things about being on the board is getting to know the people on the board. Uh, you know, I've known both of you before, but it's good to know you more professional manner and uh, we've learned a lot together and appreciate all everything you've done for the board 
you know, I always say about a board that uh, nobody knows everything, but everybody knows something. And that's what we all bring. We all have some experience or education and background, and, and you guys are no exception and done a great job. So thank you. I'm not going to keep asking because I'm not. And I know you don't want to either troll for compliments, but if you want, if you have something to say, you're certainly in a title to say. I just want you to know, Mr. Weaver, that this does not excuse you from tomatoes and zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. All right. Any further business to discuss? No, Is there you. any further business on behalf of the board to discuss? Is there any public comment? That was one thing I felt was very important. Even sometimes they say I didn't have to is to allow the public to comment. So is there public any public comment before we close the meeting? If there's no further business to discuss, we'll consider the meeting adjourned.